This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is we're bending out a sheet metal plenum and an end cap just using a piece of plywood and a folding tool. So we're actually making this plenum out of a four foot by eight foot sheet of metal. So I'll show you all the steps in order to bend this out coming up. So I get a four foot by eight foot sheet of metal in order to cut multiple plenums out of or make uh, transitions or duct work. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm making a 16 by 20 plenum and I'm making the whole body of the plenum out of one piece. So that's this perimeter right here. And so if I'm making a 16 by 20, I need to have one inch wrap on the one side. And so I'm gonna go one inch, 16 inch, 20 inch, 16 and 20. And so if we look at this air handler right over here, we're gonna require a 20 inch wide plenum, and then we can have a 12 inch deep plenum or maybe a little bit deeper, so we're gonna go with 16 inch. And so I'm gonna make this plenum 18 inches high off the top of this air handler. So when we're looking at this piece of sheet metal right here, I have it 18 and a half inches because I'm gonna bend a half inch flange right here, so it'll be 18 inches when it's done. So right now we're cutting our little half inch triangles on the factory side of the metal. And then on our cut side, that's where the end cap goes. So we're gonna be cutting these little half inch triangles because we're gonna be folding this up half an inch in order to mount this to the air handler. So you can use 10 snips just like this. And it doesn't have to be huge triangles either. You can use the V notcher right here. So it's just like that. And the other thing is, we're gonna be cutting up a half inch here, but over on this side, if you see this mark, this is the one inch mark, so I'm actually gonna be cutting uh, half of the triangle over on this side as well. And that's that. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to cross break the metal. So this edge of the plywood's lined up right on the edge of the sheet metal on the mark, and then this side is a half inch in from the end, and so, now we'll pull this sheet metal up. So I pull here, here, and here, so it's just three. So you have a nice crisp bend right there. And then you can put the plywood this way. Now we're gonna move to this other side. So we'll line our plywood up half inch in and then right on the mark on the outside of the metal. So the whole point of me cross breaking this is so that the, the cross breaks are out. This is a supply plenum and when you have your air pressure inside the duct, what it's going to do is it's not going to make any popping noises. And so once again, this is the inside so you won't see any of these measurements or anything. So we'll bend this one inch piece first and we'll use our folding tool for that. So you see it's, it's all the way in at one inch. Next, we're gonna bend right here. So, so you can see this, here's our mark here and here's our mark here for our 20 inch bend. And we always do our smaller side first so that we can fold this right in, just like that. Now we'll move to the other side. So now we need to connect this with a piece of S-lock. Before we mount our S-lock over here, I just want to square this up a little bit, and I also am going to crisp up these corners a little bit as well. So I'm going to take this, 
right on the edge. So it makes it right on the line for my end cap. So now it's pretty square. As far as this goes, right here we don't want to just screw it, we want to put our S-lock in. And so basically, uh, we're going to be putting our slide on the top for the end cap. And we want to have this start at about half inch from the end because we're going to be folding this upwards. And so that's why I have my mark right here so that we have about an inch and a quarter up here. So we'll have one inch for our S-lock and we're putting our end cap in. And any time that you're putting uh, metal into a piece of slide, this is also referred to as slip, S-lock slide. You're gonna put one little corner in at a time. All right, that's nice and lined up. We'll take our drill, self-tapping quarter inch or 5 16 screws. In this case, we're using quarter inch. I like to pull it towards myself or hold it with handbrakes, and so we'll just hold it. That's that. And so now we'll work on uh, putting our top end cap on. In order to get our measurements, uh, we're gonna measure from here to here and from here to here. We wanna see which of the two is the slightly lower measurement. They should be very close obviously, but one may be a little lower than the other and that's the one we wanna reference in order to make our end cap size. To get our end cap measurements, we're just gonna measure in here. And so we got 15 and 7 eighths here. 15 and 7 eighths here, and so we'll take off an, an eighth, we'll say, so that's 15 and 3 quarters, and then what we want to do is we want to add an inch to both sides, so that's actually going to be 17 and 3 quarters, so we'll write that measurement down. Next, we have 20 right on the dot, and on this side, we have 20 and a sixteenth, so 20 heavy, and so we want to take off an eighth, so let's just go with the shorter measurement. So we got 19 and 7 eighths, and then we need to add an inch to both of those sides. So that is going to be 21 and 7 eighths over this way, and then 17 and 3 quarters this way. I already put this piece of S-lock in and this piece of S-lock in. Basically, you're just going to set it along these edges right here, and then you're just going to put a mark, and that's where you're going to cut at. And you just want to inspect it and then check so that the, the end cap is going to be coming into the fold that's inside of the plenum. Next, we're gonna take this, we're gonna cross break this. So once again, the sheet metal doesn't pop when the air pressure uh, comes into the plenum. So you're just gonna come in to each of these sections right here into the inner part. So it's one inch in from both sides. The 
problem is we just don't have a, a sheet metal brake out in the field usually in our service trucks or installation trucks but sometimes we're just stuck with having to do this type of stuff in the field. Next we're going to take our folding tool and we're going to bend all these inwards. So the whole point of this is that the, this point is going to be upwards when we're done. Next we're going to see if this fits in snugly. So now the plenum's upside down. That's what it looks like on the inside. We still need to seal it with mastic along all of the seams. But we're gonna bend this out a half an inch and that's where we're gonna be mounting at, at the air handler. So this is the one inch side of the folding tool but it's only gonna go down to where the crease is or where the cut is on both sides. So that's gonna be a half an inch. And so you have to press in when you bend this, bend this out You also don't want to be pressing your, your body and forcing your way down there. You just kind of, kind of keep firm hands while you're doing this. So that's what it's going to look like right there. Now we're going to add our high velocity duct sealer, also known as mastic, to the inside here, and that's what's going to help seal up the air. And so we're just going to come along this bottom section of the S-lock as well. So this will seal all of the, the air so that you don't have any leakage. So that's that. So it fits pretty nice and so now we just need to screw this down and then we can seal it with our mastic and then we can insulate this so so there you go and if you want to learn more about hvac make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we have a bunch of free resources such as our quick tips our articles the calculators quizzes the podcast we also have our refrigerant charting and service procedures for air conditioning book thousand question workbook and quick reference cards and they're all available over at acservicetech.com and also on amazon